basket for Duquesne. Just his second field goal of the game so far. A little bit loose with the dribble hitters. Turned over to Austin in the front court. All by himself. It's Hughes. Now speaking of flush. <laughs> Michael Hughes throws it home and he's got six. Dan Earl, we're at our best when the ball is moving and it moved quite a bit there. Dunn Martin, a three ball of his own. And Dunn Martin hit that one from the Wahlburgers across the street. <laughs> Oh, nice move. And Gilkison tries to use the window to no avail. Weathers will lead the break from the forward position. Gives it to Austin. Drives, knifes, lays it off the window, and good. And the Dukes have tied it up. And just like that, right on cue, Duquesne comes out of the locker room strong, goes on a 6-0 run, and ties this game at 30-30. You can see E after a lot of bench action early in the game. Keith Danbrock going with the starters, and Michael Hughes pays it off. <laughs> I tell you what, I, that was a great shot. Yeah, as, isn't it interesting that earlier in the game when we had the up and down shoot fest or shot fest for both teams, Evie was right in the middle of it, so things get loosened up and he feels more comfortable. Bailey Steele, why not? He'll join the parade. There was no doubt that was going up and, and no doubt it was going in. Bailey Steele, his first three as well. So now the bench contribution coming for Duquesne. Reaching the steal is Norman. He'll get involved again. Open court. Norman oh. flushes it home. Oh. Duncan over top of Gilkison with the exclamation point. Only one of seven today, so they're losing one of their best offensive players in terms of production. They're still up by nine. Then Martin breaks the press. Michael Hughes wants the lob from Weathers, and he gets it. There's the career high for Michael to break it at 23 and a dunk again. Duquesne working clock here, get in the hands of the guard, Dunn Martin. Don't want to foul him. Lob up for Austin, who finishes. <laughs> and when you have to cheat defensively and try to trap, that's going to leave guys open, and that's exactly what just happened. 